It's back to school season and that means it's time to stock up on educational toys that will invigorate your child's mind. Just kidding, people who say things like that suck. I've scoured the internet for the best selling toys of the post summer season to determine which toy commercials have most recently been consuming your child's brain. We've got toys to remind you about neglected animals, collectibles that celebrate a woman's right to choose hair extensions, and the perfect outfit for that kid in your class who always pretended to be a dinosaur. All that and more in this installment of Toy Commercial Commentary. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick, thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel so we can dive into some meaty, juicy new toy commercials. I'm repping my hometown of Nashua, New Hampshire tonight. Yeah, I've got a few hamsters buried there. In fact, I've got animal corpses buried all over this great planet of ours. I'm trying to make a global pet cemetery, which is actually perfect for this first toy on my list. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy toy commercial commentary, or give me a thumbs up if you've ever buried a dead animal. I'll never tell. Shh. Also, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload at least two every week. And now it's time for what we've all been waiting for. The quaint murder mansion of an adorable blood drinking cannibal. Only on Disney Channel. From Disney Junior's Vampirina, it's the Scarabian Bee. Welcome, friends. We're all hanging with Bee. In the ghoul glowing Vampirina Scarabian Bee. In the kitchen, whoa. Floating party snacks? Flippy stairs, down we go. It's rock and roll and spooky fun, the Scarby and B. Is anyone else super excited for this Disney reboot of Stephen King's The Shining? That voiceover actor was not giving me a fully committed hip hop experience. It's rock and roll and spooky fun. It's a spooky, spooky party where anything can happen. The ghosts are always dancing. The friends are always laughing. Give me her job. I'll do your toy commercial voiceover. Also, let Vampirina know I have a question about her floating party snacks. At what kind of party do you serve a bowl of green slime and a single sandwich? And also, is this a scare B&B as in bed and breakfast? Or is it a proper hotel? I need to know for tax purposes. Death and taxes, am I right? Ooh, 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 that's my vampire voice. Side note, it looks like these two girls have their hair pulled back way too tight. The stylist that morning was like, oh, what a beautiful little girl. Hang on to your scalp. Did you feel that? Somewhere. A toy company is rebranding. We've talked about toys from Little Live Pets quite a bit on this show. Every time I see one of those cute animatronic toys, I want to see what happens when I drop it down the stairs. The brand now goes by a shortened version of that name, probably because their newest toy is not so much a pet as it is a mangy creature that you find and decide not to let die. New from Little Live, Scruffalo. You were just a scruffy ball of fur when I rescued you. I washed you, dried you, and then you transformed right before my eyes. I didn't know if you would be a puppy, a kitten, or a bunny. I promised to take care of you forever. Who will you rescue? Scruffle up. All right, Little Live, I'll give you this. That is an innovative way to copy exactly what Hatchimals did. You've got the mysterious creature you adopt, and then an interactive way to reveal what it is. It seems like in this case, the pet at first has like matted fur that you have to clean off, and that's how you reveal what sort of ears it has, and the ears will tell you if it's a dog or as this little girl says, kitten. A kitten. She doesn't speak normally since she played young Nala on Broadway. What's also clever about Scruffalove is the fact that it plays up this new trend about people rescuing animals. Cause like, yeah, it's satisfying to buy a puppy and watch it grow up. But have you ever tried bringing an emaciated pit bull to the in and out drive through Fun. In the hit movie Jurassic Park, or whatever, one of the best parts is the scary sound of the shrieking raptors. But have you considered taking that sound and attaching it to your child's face? Well, guess what, folks? Mattel has already done the hard work for you and given you this next creation. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Step inside the world. Become Velociraptor Blue. Tracking eyes and chomping jaw action. Life cannot be contained. Me. Jurassic World Blue Mask and Claws, each sold separately. Toy commercials are the only time that you ever see a kid wearing a vest. This is how I know I'm getting older. When I watch this commercial, all I can think are parental things to shout at that child. Let's watch again without sound and I'll narrate my parental commands. Mm-mm, looks too scary for Owen. Oh, you better take off those shoes before you come in my house. Is there a volume button on that? Who's that boy, Owen? Where's his mother? I hope they're getting along. I would be a good parent based on that, right? I think you know. Let's wrap up with an example of some other excellent parenting. Time for a bath. I don't want to. 
Let's face it, getting your kids in the bathtub can be a real drag. Not anymore. Now kids get to enjoy bath time all the time with the party in the tub light. Look, it's lighting up bubbles! Featuring three different light shows, the party in the tub light entertains your little bather, making every bath more fun. They can watch it, spin it, dunk it, splash it, having fun while they wash. Get ready to make bath time party time. Do you think you would have a better time getting your kid into the bath if you didn't say it to them like they're about to be executed? Time for a bath. Another issue I have is that this girl says, Look, it's lighting up bubbles. Bring the energy level down, Vanessa, that's fine. But also, no, it's not. It's not lighting up any bubbles. As you can see, this toy provides many different ways to have fun in the tub. Spin the light, spin the light the other way, hold the light right up to your eyes to damage your corneas. It's a party in the tub, do whatever. And I'm also a huge fan of this set it and forget it bath time. Throw it in the tub with your kid, turn off the lights, close the door, walk away. Come back in a half hour, see if they're clean. Technology has made parenting so much easier. Bonus for parents of older kids, give this to them before they go off to college. It's gonna be awesome when they take acid for the first time. Free parenting advice, everybody. Which of these latest toys are you just dying to have next? What other one should I check out in future videos? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more toy commercial commentaries. I really appreciate those thumbs up, guys. Let's see if we can get, like, a lot of them. 25 likes on this video. I think we can do it. Also, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload at least two every week. Thank you guys so much for joining me and getting into this batch of end-of-summer toys. I will see you next time.